Hey, uh, I'm recording this on the literal same day as the recording course with Scott happened. As some of you may have noticed, last part was abruptly cut off for some fucking reason. That's because for some reason, the last an hour, one minute of the recording was corrupted and didn't actually get recorded. However, thankfully, for some fucking reason, I can still view it when I just open up the media's fu file. So basically, what I'm going to be doing here is... Uh, I'm just going to be... After I do this little uh, intro here, I'm just going to be clicking on the play button and just like... What let you watch the playback of the media source while I just go about my usual own bullshit. I'll just be watching some random video off to the side, probably sitting in Discord in a call or something. Who really fucking cares? I literally just need to sit here for the last for the next hour doing nothing. And <laughs> uh luckily I found out that I can just like mute all of everything on my PC. As well as mute, mute everything from my microphone and just only have it register the audio from the media source that I currently have as another channel in OBS here. So if I were to like get rid of my webcam, for example, you'd see the webcam from the actual fucking video instead of the game. So yeah. I'm going to be doing that now, and I hope you guys enjoy the actual finale of Moe's Round, because that's what actually happened. So, yeah, go ahead and have fun with that. Brett fucking... Not because it immediately fucking crashed. Of course it won't be that simple. Oh well. Change of fucking plans. Open up this. Select this. Have it opened. Go to the point where it ended. The recording. Should be roughly... Here. Skip ahead a bit. Skip ahead a bit. Skip ahead a bit. Skip back a few. Skip back a few. Rooms in this mansion have stamper of walls that could write. Why is it suddenly complaining about it? We can complain about it earlier. Man, gotta love when that shit happens. Hello. Was the issue the fact that I paused? Because if that is the issue, I could just like try. Okay, turn on display capture. Because why the fuck not? Yeah. Capture that. Skip to the point where I was at and just press play. Skip forward. What? Twice. Skip back. Light wise. As I do that, damn room with her sleeping here. No, no, I just not get it, but it could lead to us getting in trouble. Pick up a Actually asleep, I swear to God. Rooms in this mansion have sample of walls I could write, but right. Issue seems to be. Passing over this certain part. So if I open up the media source again, and open up this again for the media source. Okay. Hello. It's down here Welcome again. back. Pausing it. And just put it at like... Past that point.
Sure, need works. Okay, that's very weird. Oh, no, no, that's no, 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 no. moment in the video. It's, I was too fucking tired because we were about to finish. So I should probably just quickly explain what happened there. Basically, he turned off the lights and Tsuki immediately started freaking out, telling him to turn on the lights in a panicked fucking attack, basically. And he did it. That's what happened. So now, I'm just gonna like turn off the desktop audio and turn off the microphone audio again and then you just have fun with the actual finale. I hope it fucking works this time. Go ahead and have fun. Oh, yesterday and this thing happened and everything went to shit. Woke up at the end, so all's well that ends well. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna finish, so, finish it, so I'm buying it. But I'm on it. We can still make it if we run the next 100 meters in 10 seconds or less. Wanna go to the Olympics after this one then? We obviously didn't make it on time. We've been through some tough times, but the day has finally arrived. We wipe off the sweat from our faces. As we wipe the sweat from the oops, as we wipe off the sweat from our faces, we stared at the finished stall without saying a single word. We did it. Stall was done. Then one more proposed the idea and I thought she was crazy, but look at us now. It's in front of us. We fucking did it. Hi, Kanzaki sama. Yeah, quite the effort it took. Of course it did. And then slap her back a little. Well done, you've done a great job. <laughs> she then smiles like she's never smiled before. She must be young, but I feel like she's become more of an adult because of this. I think that tomorrow would be stretching it quite a bit, but I'm sure that we could call some people and have them meet those scrapes of yours soon enough. <laughs> should probably clean up the rest of the stuff we left scattered around. Ah. Oh. Well, I get the cleaning. Get to the stall later. Yeah, your stall is done. We did it. What, you sad or something? You know, it looked like it. Give me some jumps and touch the ceiling while you scream or something. なんだか嫌だ。カイトはどこまでいつまで私といてくれる。あ、プロポーズ。神崎様、今日ここでおしまい。それともクレープを焼くまで。Boy, you're a lady of the Kanzaki family, somewhat of a higher pedigree than I. Just a lowly bodyguard and one that's consistently taking the piss to boot. You should start treating me like what I am and act more like a proper lady. You may have become closer because of the stall thing. <sighs> but every story has an ending. And I can wait until you surf those crepes if you want. Once you do that, consider this friendship of ours over. <sighs> Stop staring at me like that and get the cleaning. You've got training soon, I bet. You made the right choice. Everything must return to the way it was. I never belonged here with her in the first place. I'm doing the right thing. Mm. I haven't even said anything yet. Wait, really? Sure. It took you one question before you leave. Do you know how many cases of bodyguards falling in love with ladies have ended in a positive note? Just curious about it. Of course, why would I be asking a maid? Maid, da kara. Dakedo, sano mubo na hito ta chwa minna hokai shite ru. Saigo ni wa kizutsuku kekka shika matte inai kara. 
Sure enough. Yes, and me. Not even asking her. I know what the result would be, which I... Everyone does. And so they still try. Fools every last one of them. Hmm. Could possibly be calling me at this hour. Yes? Who is that? Kaito. Kaoru? What are you calling me for? If you want me to sing your good night lullaby, you can go to sleep. You, uh, to, so you can go to sleep, you can go fuck yourself. Okay, jeez. Kaoru sounds very upset right now, so of course he has to be serious. Whoa, are you kidding me? It's almost 12. Where are you? I'll get ready to wait for me. What the hell's wrong? Enter the dojo. Signs rains and I can barely see anything because there was no moon today to eliminate the area. You there, Kaoru? As I call for him and wait for an answer, I start to get used to the darkness as I look around me. Kaoru? Wait, you're crying? <laughs> Wipes his tears with his sleeve. What happened? Huh? Odin points to the spot where the star is supposed to be. Can't really see anything, so I get near it. As my eyes adjust to the darkness within the dojo, I then find myself with what was once a stall is now. What the fuck is this? What was a stall just mere hours ago is now? Nothing but a pile of garbage. Planks are completely broken and all the frying pans have been completely obliterated. Kaoru, you did this? Yeah. I see. Was it that old motherfucker? Kaito. He's really gonna get it now. Didn't mind if he, was, uh, if he bullied me because I wasn't painting the ass to him, but now he fucking dare you destroy the things his grandfather wanted to do the most. Nah, nah. Kazuki did it. Call the old man, I'm going to crush his skull. What? As he finished the sentence, we hear the sound of the lightning, followed by a downpour of rain. Wait, Moy destroyed it? Why? What would make her do that? Wasn't she the one who wanted to build this more than any of us? Where is she? What the fuck did you just say? Your fucking bodyguard! What do you fucking mean she's not here? Then why? Where is she? Where'd she go? She went to the fucking mountain when it's pouring rain. For what even? God, why didn't you go after her the minute she left? Why did she want to go? I don't get this at all. Did she just like the one we made? Kaito she would deliberately destroy her own work. He's worked hard for it. And he could ignore her, your ass and left you here. He's crying a river. I'm feeling ashamed. God, who I know what nerves cry in front of others. Even less in front of me. I don't know why I think that. I legit believe he's good at what he does. It's all because of me. It's my fault. I... I'm sorry, and no, I should have gotten involved more in the first place. How much did Kaoru suffer and doubt himself for calling me to do this? He's prideful and he'd normally never do something like this. Call me because he wasn't able to stop Moe by himself, not because of the relationship between Moe and I. All he could do was watch powerlessly as Moe headed towards the mountain, not even going after her, even while knowing that she'd be exposing herself to possible danger. Kaoru's last resort. He started going up the mountain, 
stance are drenched and make it difficult for me to move. But I have no other choice and no choice besides moving on and finding her. But I reached the summit and find a clearing. And she is sitting on top of lo top of a log, surrounded by hundreds of other logs. Looks like the storage zone of some some construction firm. No, 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 no. Don't overwrite that. Save it. She's looking at the ground while she sits on the log, drenched. What's going on in her mind? I whisper her name, but the rain makes it impossible for her to hear me. Steep a thought, but I don't know what's going on in her mind. I'll approach her. You're drenched. In the end, I decide to greet her like I normally do. She's out to press something wrong. What are you even doing here? Someone that cares about your ass called me and told me where you were. You fucking broke the stall, you asshole. Smacked the back of her neck. Never gave, you sh gave a shit about it, did you? Then why'd you smash it to pieces? Any time with me can't be that big of a deal. I don't know what to tell you, but to be honest. Your hands are full of wounds. You turned the stone to splinters with just your punches. Force to be reckoned with. Man, it's raining even harder than before. You should get back, go back home. Why? You think I will? Yeah, and I helped you the first time. It's over now. She then, for the first time, finally lifts her face and looks at me. Face it, Moe. You destroyed the stall. It's over. It's something you, Kaoru, and I made together. Only thing in the world that the three of us worked on. If I'm being honest with you, I'd rather just go back home right now. Take a good, long, uh, good hard bath, sleep, and forget about ever talking to you. You know why I'm not doing that, right? Because someone called me in the middle of the night, crying, because he was powerless to stop his client. That's why I'm here. Indeed. There's another reason, though. Because you're here suffering as well. I see as someone who's still young and doesn't know how life works, destroying the fruits of her and others' labor. Because she didn't know what to do. Honestly, Moya, trying to use the stall as an excuse to spend time with me is the stupidest shit you could have done. Oh. I grab her arm and start pulling her towards me, but she jolts the moment I try to. I then pull her again towards me, and this time she lets herself go and presses her body against mine. Tell me to my face that you'd like, like me to go for you, not for a fucking stall. Uh, tell me to my face that you'd like me to go for you, not for a fucking stall. Yeah, you're not like most of the ladies. You never really cared about your image very much. Never used any makeup or such stuff. Plus, you eat like a pig. I'm carrying you home, even if I have to force you to go back. Pull her arm for a bit. First, she tries to resist, but quickly after, she lets go. She lets go yet again. Still trying to squeeze your way out of this. Well, you haven't lost Kaoru just yet. This doll's completely done for, get real. Come on, we're going back. Stop acting like a child. Now the topic comes out, though, I think your name doesn't fit how you are at all. Sounds cute and all, but you're a piece of work and not in a good way. No wonder no one calls her by her name. Try to pull her arm again, but this time she stays where she is. 
Move. <laughs> I'll say this again. I'll say this in advance. It is your fault for starting all of this. Yeah. Listen to me well. Turn around and look straight into her eyes. I love you. <sighs> she blinks in surprise without saying a single word. Say something. I'll bash your fucking skull. Think with your brain, you surely understood what I said. Wait, what? You did? You don't look like you did, judging by the way you're at reacting. Maybe she never had any feelings for me in the first place. I'll be a shocker. Tell me that I was the only one who felt this uh, like this the whole time. So you don't want to go home, is that it? If you don't want to go home, then you can come with me. Wherever I want. Is it okay with that? We'll have to do something about our clothes before that. Right on cue, she holds out the bag she brought with her. Side or a change of clothes for her. Did she know there would be a storm when brought a change of clothes in the event she got vet? Maybe she committed to running away and planned carrying the logs somewhere. I apologize, Kaoru, but I'm gonna do something you won't like. Is that a fucking love hotel? That's a fucking love hotel. With the money I took from Sataka's en envelope some time ago, I buy us a room and a one night stay for a one night stay in a love hotel. <sighs> Moy stares at the room in amazement as the rain dri wa rainwater drips from her hair. Hotel. Yes, it's a hotel, but it's a different from but it's different from a reg regular one, you know. <laughs> She's most likely talking about the bed. Check out the mirrors on the ceiling. <laughs> Probably because it looks cool. I'm concerned I start taking off my coat and shirt. If I keep wearing these wet clothes, I might end up catching a cold. Why well, you should change quickly. She nods with a flustered look on her face and starts undressing. I turn around and wait until she's done changing into normal clothes. In any case, you should choose what happens next. Say as she finishes changing. Or into her casual clothes. The first option is for us to sleep until morning arrives. The second option is for us to get naked and embrace each other, and of course, I'm not talking about just a hug. You can choose whatever you want, the result will be the same. The only difference is how we proceed from here. She's not getting angry or even flustered like you'd expect her to. She's just standing there, completely stupefied by the events unfolding before her. Eventually, I get tired of waiting. If you don't understand what's going on, raise your hand. Does she actually understand just how embarrassing the things I'm telling her are? Quite the unexpected answer, how typical of you. What do you mean? Words are short. She starts stuttering. Her face goes beet red and her eyes move towards the floor. That's what I should be asking you. As long as you're okay with someone like me, that won't be a problem. Really? Get him. Sleep as we are until morning comes. Zip. Thump. Sleeping? To make my objections clear after she so casually dashed my hopes. As I do that, Moe comes and embraces me from behind. <laughs> She's fucking joking. That was a terrible joke. Moe. I remember seeing the CG online at some point. So this is where it's from. Good to know. That's another one I've seen like ages ago. Where it was like, ah. Yes. And now I know where it's from! Lovely! Uh, let's save this. this. Seems like a good CG. I'm st still probably gonna use this one now. Or this one. One of the two. 
Either way, uh... I heard my way, a faint sweet aroma tickles my nostrils. I'm just gonna like... Handle this as official age. Since already we look at each other in the eye, her eyes were ever so damp, and I felt... And I thought of them as stripping jewels, I softly kissed her on the lips. They're so soft, it feels as though they could melt at any moment. So I gently touched the edges of her lips together. Uh, I can tell Moya wants this just as much as I do. I can hear Moya get more excited because she started to moan a little bit. Uh, yep, official H scene. Yep, uh, see you afterwards. They appear to be done fucking. Uh, nothing to censor. Actually, we fuck, fucking see his eyes even. It's a fucking wonder, really. Yeah, end up spending the entire night in the hotel after our encounter. As Moya slept, I kept watching over at her side. Times like this, I don't wonder how much time has passed outside. More than 12 hours have passed since Kaoru sent me to go after Moe. That's for sure. But I'm sure of this. What, what, what I'm sure of is that our trial awaits once I return her to her home. The only silver lining is that all of this. That the rain yesterday. The only silver lining in all this is the rain yesterday. I always make the excuse that we stayed at a hotel due to the rain being too heavy for us to return home. We changed the clothes before entering the hotel too, so no one here knows she, we're from Renault. No, she fucking entered the hotel in the Renault Academy. You know what? Could ironically work as an excuse. This is believable. Mm. Oh, you were awake? Uh. Say something. Uh. Great way to start the day with stupid answers. Oh, hi, yo. Hey. Kaito to yoru o tomo ni shita. Yeah, you did. Jitto kangaete ta koto. Wa demo shinpai shinai de. Watashi ga mamoru kara. Watashi ga Kaito o suki ni natta. Okay, before we leave, we have to talk about something real quick. People find out about a relationship, and this es if things escalate to the worst possible scenario, I expect you to place the entire blame on me. Mori, listen to me. I... I will, uh... Just put the blame on me. If you don't promise me to do it, then I'll make sure we never meet each other again. Sure, I'm a meanie, promise. She pouts for a moment, but then she nods. Before the sun comes up, Mo and I sneak out of the hotel and quickly head back to the mansion. If they find out she's not here, then all hell will break loose. Okay. I will promise. <laughs> Jen holds my hands tightly. Gotta avoid hugging each other in the open. Let's make that second stall anyway. <laughs> See you later. Then let go of each other somewhat reluctantly. And apologize to Kaoru. <laughs> she then it's the estate we're looking my way. Time to go home myself. <laughs> this has become a difficult situation. As I was about to head up back home, a man tells me to stay still. I don't need to face him to know what he's def that he's definitely someone dangerous. Sure, not like you give me any other choice, considering you're pointing a gun at me. <laughs> he expects me to escape. He expects me to escape, so that's why he did it. Well done. Time to brace myself. He's pointing a gun at me, right, Kaoru? Say as I turn my head a little to face him. Kaoru, who trusted me with his client and whose trust I betrayed. I see. Did the old man tell you to bring me to him? あ。少し席を外してくれ。それはできない。逃がすわけにはいかないからな。心配するな。カイトは逃げないさ。5分だ。それ以上はない。ああ。What is he gonna do now? Smack me in the face or something? なぜ? Oh, come on, don't make me say it. 私は怒ってなどいない。ただ。このまま
この世界から消される新しい仕事に就こうとしても神崎家がそれをさせないだろうありのままの事実を話し伝五郎氏を納得させろそれが領域を踏み越えたカイトの責任だ本当にそう思っているのか昔のカイトならひょっとしたらお前はまるでためらいもなく神崎様を切り捨てるただ欲に溺れ快楽を望んだだけなんじゃないかと信じていいのか Sorry, but unfortunately for you, I can't really say that you could, could, should completely trust me. I'm not a stranger to the betrayal, and I would do it if I needed to. The thing I can't say for sure, though, is that I love Moe. That my feelings for her are real. Let's go. If that's the truth, I don't want to say anything about it. I'm going to go to Kaito. Hmm. I'm going to go to Kaito. I'm going to go to Kaito. Then points to a cushion placed exactly at the center of the dojo. That cushion you mean? So, yeah. I wonder if I'm gonna get lectured at all or if he'll just try to jump at me and fight. I'm pretty sure convincing him that my feelings for her are real won't be as easy as it was with Kaoru. Just fine by me. I love a good challenge. Send on the cushion and. Ka Kaido? The fart sound completely killed the moon. All the tension is gone. Hey, that wasn't me. It was me, okay? <laughs> You. Was it you, Giza? Nani wa awate te uruka? Boo boo zabuton ya. De. Dengoro sama. I knew you were fond of pranks, but I wasn't expecting you to be so bold as to carry it, carry it this far. Nani wa awate uruka? Kaaat! The shout made the whole place tremble for a moment. Shinken na hanashi o mai ni shite wa arau to wa nani goto ka! Piece of shit, old man. Kick the fart cushion away and sit on the floor where it was, where it was before. So, what choice do I have here? And where's my way? Hmm. Not at this exact moment, no. Hey, he likes doing this kind of shit, doesn't he? Oh, We're not in a rush, I'll wait until you wake up. Damn, can't wait to squish Moe's huge tits. As hard as steel itself, my ass. <laughs> can we just move on already? The old man then sits straight and looks at me seriously. よく美しいプラトニックな関係であれば、まだわしも強引な行動に出ることはなかったじゃろう。Just tell me what's gonna happen. What's the other one? Gotta fight Kaoru. He's giving me the choice to just run away and look for another path, life path. Though he'd be sure to personally make it difficult for me to have a decent life in the first place. I can also fight Kaoru to become Moe's bodyguard, even if, I, and even if I lose. Uh, but if I lose, the other option will be all but guaranteed. Just first option. Just kidding, in all seriousness, I don't. I have. Well, I don't know if I can get you to win this fight. If you win this fight, Kaoru can't be able to continue this fight. What? 
それを覚悟して立ち会うんじゃな。ペサフィデプシェッカーウェスナザンドゥウデス。There's something between your family and I。ぬかすなそれこそ萌えを守るべきカオルくんに責任があるわい。よからぬ虫から遠ざけることもまた役目よ。カオルくん、萌えの様子を見てきてくれ。はい、わかっ I legit see no reason to kick Kaoru if I went. It's all so stupid. Yo no naka nan de mo omoi dori ni wa ika nu mono. I won't be holding back, you know that, don't you? You may have tried to exploit me emotionally by making me feel pity towards Kaoru, but let me tell you in advance. I don't give a shit. I'll beat the crap out of him. Onushi ko so ki o tsuke yo. Kaoru kun wa tsuyui. Hanashi wa owari jia. Let me ask you something before you go. Where's Moe? k i s a k a r a z u t t o m o n o k i g o y a n i t o j i k o m e t e o r What? So. Arewa Moe ga mada konna ni c h i s a i k o r I had a hunch that Moe's education was harsh, but this confirms it. This guy never held back on her ever. Shinyo no tame ni m o n o k i g o y a n i t o j i k o m e t a k o t o ga a t t e no. That's straight up child abuse. s a s u g a ni was no mago da ke a t t e Shonichi wa nakimu to hito tsui wan katta. That's quite impressive. Janga, Fuskame ni Naruto Sasugani Kufuni Natanoka. Oji chan, Onakasita yo to Utaite Kitino. Washua Kokoro ni state. O my ni kwasu tumme wa ni to no. Fucking child abuser. Moe wa genki ga ria matta kodomo jata. Sono bun yoku itazara o steotanga. Sono tsudo mo no kigo ya de manan danja. What she did with me was bad. もう同じ悪さをしないなら食事を与えてやってもよいぞと言えばイチコロじゃ。He's right there. Moe appreciates eating more than your average person. It's not gonna go his way. そういうわけで、お主が頑張ろうとも萌えがお主を取ってくれんかもしれんの。あ、あ。I wonder about that. Should leave. So I stand up, ready to go. So the fight's tomorrow, I assume. When? So, Chow Karaja. Wants me to wake up at 5 a.m. on a weekday? Come on. l i k e it's gonna be fucking pissed. Looks like I'm gonna be a pester around up until the end. Honto. Anta te migate da. Reka takes a deep breath after that. I summarized her everything that's been going on. Can't say no to that. I could have, yeah. I could have, yeah. Sorry. 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 Sure. Obviously, I won't. There's nothing I can say in response. She's right on this, and, and I have to take the hit. Really sorry about all of this. I'm not going to say anything. I don't get her. I bow my head and turn around, ready to leave the room. I would expect her to have this reaction. In the end, I've learned an important lesson from this. Happiness comes at a price. And that price is another person's grief. Can't have outsiders roaming around the place or what? <sighs> okay, okay. Do as she says and head towards my room. Come across I, who looks quite saddened. Don't speak a word to me, though. Dewa, you s h o u l o a n i o a k o b i s a s e t e a k i m a s n o e a n I eat at the hall at the very least? t e s h i m a s Yeah, what I deserve, I really do. Yes, this will be my last night here. I wonder what will happen to me tomorrow. The path will be opened before me. When I walk beside Moe as a bodyguard, I will return to the place I came from. It could happen. I'm not sure about anything anymore. The only thing I'm sure of is that I really want to see more, though.
Wake up feeling uneasy about the day ahead of me. I don't sleep very well. In fact, I'm quite nervous right now. I hardly feel like this about anything. Considering the wild ride I've been experiencing so far, no wonder. Like, not even a month that passed since I started working for Reika, and look at how much shit has happened. Gotta get going in any case. I barely have time to... Ah, I barely have to pack anything, so I'm good there. Came here mostly empty-handed, so I leave mostly empty-handed as well. As I leave my room, I notice that there's no one walking around. Probably too early to be, for people to be awake. Interesting that I didn't even catch a glimpse of Tsuki, though. There's no one. What the hell's wrong with me? It's not like I should be going looking for anyone here anyway. Guess it's just wants someone to see me off. It's too late to regret this kind of to come on. Plus, if someone were here to see me, they'd only look, they'd only look at me like I'm trash, so I should just leave now. In the end, I leave the estate without seeing anyone as I go. At the dojo, barely illuminated by the first rays of sunlight. As I do, I notice how Kaoru is already inside. The old man is already here too, He's sitting in a corner to oversee our battle. Sure. Place my luggage against one of the walls and head towards the center of the dojo. None here. Kaoru and I face each other. This fight will not only decide a victor and a loser, but the losers will have this place and then will have to leave this place and never return. They didn't even give us any time to say something to each other. Not even a simple goodbye. <laughs> Kaoru quickly closed the gap between us and throws a flurry of punches. That try, Kaoru, but misguided. Nice try! I managed to evade all, evade all of his attacks. <laughs> Pretty confident I can win this. Kaoru had his wooden sword around, and maybe I'd have, he'd have a chance. But if we had to kill each other and Kaoru was using a real sword, I'd most likely lose. No difference between Kaoru and I. I'm leagues apart from him, and this ain't me trying to be cocky. It's the truth. Taking into account that I lived with him for a year as well, I know his strengths and weaknesses. I think about his fighting style. Sorry, Kaoru, uh, Kaoru but you're losing the day. After evading Kaoru's punches, I get close to him to strike. Mm. He said he was a strong old man, but I'll give, and I'll give it to you. Yes, well, I'll show you how powerless Kaoru is against me when I take things seriously. I then clench my fist and aim for his abdomen. If I land this punch, he's done for. I won't need a follow up, one punch will decide it all. Kaoru may be tougher than your average person, but I know that he won't be, won't be strong enough to stand after this one. That's why he prefer, prefers to use a sword, because he can fight his opponent at a distance. I like disposing of his opponent before they get too close to him, where he's at a disadvantage. Not like I have any other choice but to get up close and personal if I want to beat him. You're done for! Kaoru can't deal with this. He won't leave enough time to react and avoid it. I see the fear plastered all over his face. However... <laughs> what? <laughs> Surprise me. I followed through with my... Uh, with my uh, I followed through with my punch, but I hit nothing but air. Mainly because I stopped myself from hitting him. <laughs> Kaoru doesn't let the opportunity slip, so I grabs my arm and slams me into the floor. Slams me to the floor. <laughs> he holds me in an arm bar. Can't move. Shit! I tried to thrash him off, but he's got me good. <laughs> Try me, pussy! <laughs> Ain't gonna be easy to get out of this one, but I start to force my way out by dislocating my shoulder. Go ahead and do it already! Start to thrash to force Kaoru to dislocate it. There's nothing if you intend to protect your client! Feel a jolt of pain run through my head that lasts for a mere second, followed by an intense pain running through my whole arm. And then wrestle Kaoru off and quickly stand up. Kaito. He looks at my left arm hanging limp for about a second, but averts his gaze immediately after. Don't take your eyes off of your opponent. I then use my right arm to pop my left arm back into its socket. I still can go! <laughs> Putting my arms and legs back in place ain't much but issue for me. Next time try to break my bones. I'd like it do very much for him either, but at least he won't have done permanent damage. 
blows distance with me once more and decides to throw some more punches. As I evade his attacks, I look back on the fuck up I did moments ago. Stop my punch man out right when I was about to defeat him. Why did your man tell me stop my attack, perhaps? Oh no, you don't! Take the offensive now and manage to see several openings in Kaoru's stance, enough for me to win. However, da! Stop myself from attacking once more and Kaoru throws a punch at me in return. What the hell's wrong with me? Careful, Kado may be weaker than I am, but if he, fucks up, uh, if he fucks me up too much, then I'll end up winning. Must win. I deserve to be with more and more. Uh, fuck, I need to stop thinking in the middle of the fight. But I just can't! I'm lost, I don't know what to do. Kado is trying his hardest to fight for his sake, his future. He's no match for me, but he's trying to use everything he can to defeat me. Is it really okay for me to win this? I win, then it's all over, Kaoru. I'll have to give up on his position and being a bodyguard altogether. No other lady will accept him in her service, and I doubt that Eka will be merciful and allow him to be with her either. I'll have to leave her in all for sure. <laughs> his shouting and punches aren't enough to clear me of my doubts. What would happen to Kaoru if I won? And a life will he follow? Do I really have the right to take another life just because... Take everything. No, screw you! Steal whatever you desire. Die! The weak are purged by the strong. That's how this world works. The path is clear before you. There's no room for doubt. Ah! I brush Kaoru's arm away and grab him from the neck and slam him against the floor. Hmm? <laughs> you know why he's telling me that. If I trample on Kaoru's face right now, there's a legitimate chance I could sink his nose into his skull and cause irreparable brain damage. Now it's spell game over for him. I've spent an entire year alongside Kaoru, being alongside Kaoru. But a pain in the ass to him more than I'd like to admit. Kaoru, Yuki, and Son are nice people and consider them to be my friends. Kaoru is definitely the person I've been closest with so far, though. He's important to me. Does that matter in this grand scale of things? Just because Kaoru is my friend doesn't mean that I should just lose here. I must win. I will win. Kaoru is weak, I am not. He hesitated for a mo while, but not anymore. Thank you for this lesson, Kaoru. I will not forget it, even if it'll be their last one. But then stop grabbing his neck and stop Kaoru's abdomen with everything I've got. <laughs> now all I have to do is stomp on his face and he'll be done for. Kaito. <laughs> Kaoru says we're looking at me. Looks like he's completely given up considering his current state. At the very least, Kaoru should be happy to know that someone clearly stronger than him won. Goodbye, Kaoru. Die. Drive my foot down to deliver my last hit and. Whoops. Uh. Whoops, I actually changed fucking text color. That was weird. I have to ch check if that. Oh no, okay, it doesn't. I go down and. Yeah, this is actually a dude, isn't it? There's nothing to censor, though, so I just... I remember back when Kaoru and I met for the first time. She never took a step back from me. She shouted me with the most serious look she's ever given me, and... I prefer a stomp on Kaoru's face to stop. Enough for what? Kaoru? She finally gave up. She never had a chance to win against me. A woman never won. You were weak, that's all there is to it. Kaoru. She lays on the floor defeated, she starts sobbing. She curls herself up and covers her face so neither me nor the old man can see her. Turn around without saying anything else and look at the old man. He nods, it's over. She was just too weak and ended up hurting her like I did many others in the past. I wish I could say that I feel sorry that I feel for her. But I have no shred of regret for doing this. So I leave the dojo without saying a single word. Oh, 
わしが直接来ると思うかそうですか早急に対処いたしましょうやつを叩き出すことになれば麗華も黙ってはいませんがまさかあの小僧が神崎氏にご迷惑をおかけしているとはいやいや少し勘違いをしておるようじゃのとおっしゃいますとわしがここに来たのはあの事件をすべて水に流そうと思ってのことじゃ何ですともうよいではないかわしは思うあの時の決断は間違っていたと冗談ではありません私は私は朝霧を許すことなど私は今でもやつが憎い食いておるのじゃろ肩肘張ってお主が背負う必要がどこにある憎んでおるから追い出すとお主は言うがならばなぜカイトを受け入れたそれはまさかやつの息子だとは笑わせるでないわ気づかぬはずがあるまい朝霧の性を持ち何よりあの顔立ちはやつの息子であることの何よりの証明知っていて黙って受け入れたのじゃろう<笑>わしに嘘をつこうなどと百年早いわいですが私はならば決まりじゃなわしはこの朝霧怪盗婿養子として神崎家に迎えるぞ何ですって実は今朝方お主の預かり知らぬところで怪盗を神崎家に迎え入れるかの試験をさせた試験カイトは無事試験をクリアしたわしが拒む理由は何一つない萌えもまたカイトを信頼し必要としておるしのしかしそれではきじめが意中の者同士を追い詰め苦しめることがわしたちのけじめかそれは愛し愛され互いを支える環境を与えてやりたいカイトを見てわしはそれをよく考えさせられた神崎家の一人娘がボディーガードいや婿養子として迎え入れるなんて冗談では済まされないことです現ぞ<笑>もうええんじゃ許されても私は誰もお前を責めることはできんそしてカイトを責めることもできんどうなっても知りませんよん朝霧の血は強そうですな強かろうわしらの血などよりもずっとな待たせたのこれからが大変じゃぞまさに禁断の恋をしようとしておるのじゃあちこちから避難されお主や萌えに危害が加えられんとも限らんそれは肉体的なことだけにとどまらず<音楽>してもらわねば困る There's actually something I'd like to apologize for as well.、Mm-hmm. I lied about something.、For、me, it was never a big deal, but I bet for you two it is, so I'd rather come clean about it. My father's actually. You know. Ninja, you as a tomo. Those are the things that are going to be a good thing. So you all knew from the very beginning? Old man then stares off to the distance. His blank stares not towards me, but something beyond. Just think about my pops. Hakoto wa, keshte wa asle dare ru mono dewa nai. Ija kara hito wa kako o taisez ni suru. Tadashi i koto, machigatta koto, sore o mi ushina wa nai tame ni. Shikashi kanjo wa utsuroi yasui. Hito wa futo shita koto de kizutskeru gawa ni mo, kizutskerare ru gawa ni mo naru. 過去は必要なものじゃが決して未来に進むために欠かせないものとは限らんわしは生涯お主の父親について過去を語らん
そしてお主も生涯父親について語ることは許さん今のお主と萌えにとってそれは必要なことではない正しいことでも間違ったことでもない二人が出会った時にはすでに過去じゃった萌えとてお主の過去に興味はあるまい考えておらんのよ当然のことじゃ目の前におるお主が全てじゃからぬ決して立ち止まり後ろを振り返るな今は前を向き二人で歩いていくことそれが全ていつか年を重ねふとした時に振り返れその時お主に見える過去は必ず今とは違うはずじゃ。Indeed. Okay. Got it. I bumped up. Now on.、Mm-hmm. I think that I'll end up making some people suffer along the way. That's something that I've done for quite a while now.、Mm-hmm. Been a pest of Nikaido's away as well, for example. Dureka, Aya, Sun, Suki, Genzo, whichever one who lives here. g o u t it too. I won't expect them to forgive me. If they hate me for what I've done, then so be it. Still feel horrible for what I've done to them, though. I don't like betraying people that trust me or making them angry or bothering them. The old man pats me on the back. His strength he uses is incredible, way more than I would have expected considering his age. Me to me! Then points at the entrance of the Nikaido estate. Onushi wa hontou ni kono iye ni meiwak o kaketa no ka? 誰からも非難されるだけの立場にあったのか。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだね。そうだ They can t- not like they can tell if I like them as well or not. What are they all doing over there? I could take a step forward and a gust of wind blows, forcing me to close my eyes. What's wrong with you all? What are you doing all here? All there. I find myself at a loss at the brink of the tears. m a d starts hurting a little and I start trembling ever so slightly. s k i l l i n g close her eyes and bows. If a servant follows her example and bows as well. Them. I like to a piece of trash like me. I can't believe this. I must be imagining things. Sounding me off with a smile. Didn't they hate my guts? The day. Oh, no, she was. Jibun de omote riori mo zutto mina ni skarete wa ta yo jana. So that's true. I'm not saying things. But why? I just. I'm a fucking idiot, aren't I? Atama o sa genka! Fuck! You don't want to have them see me cry, so that's why I bowed. Then take a deep breath and. So long, everyone! God, it better sound cringy saying goodbye like this crying. Hi, to. You go. Yeah. May not know what, what my father has done in the past. But I, must walk, but I must walk my own path. One that I feel proud of walking without regrets. One where I, along with Ma. Ma. B. 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 Moya! Moya! <laughs> We're not a making lovers here.、Uh, one where. Not making lovers. Sugar style. Wrong game. <laughs> I'm a mess right now. One where I, along with Moe, will face all adversities in our future. That start really reminded me of Chrono, <laughs> of Chrono Trigger music. <laughs> Doesn't seem like I'll have to worry about any CGs popping up, but I'm still gonna watch them, I guess. I don't really need anything to look at, so I'm not gonna get rid of the fucking camera. So, yeah,、uh, uh, she got a lot better, but I still wish to、uh, smite her for the whole, like, uh, no one's hiring you. Doesn't look better, dumbass. Still wanna fucking smite her for that. That's a, that's a personal attack against me, and I will hold a grudge. 
for quite a fucking long time. Because I am just that fucking anal about this kind of thing. Sin? <laughs> Sin? Ah, <laughs> oh, man. You wanna be anal about it? I guess, yeah, premarital sex is kind of a sin in the Old Testament and all that, biblically speaking. Nobody cares about it, though. <laughs> Sin? <laughs> Can't stop it. <laughs> the dojo, holy place for one's self-improvement. Those who attempt to defile its sanctity will be punished. What if suddenly feel like I have to pull these up? Why is it giving me two options? Lordo? Why is it giving me two options? Option A. <laughs> yep! You're practicing some sumo moves, but things got derailed pretty quickly. It's an H scene. Let me just, uh... They're fucking in the dojo. Uh... We embrace each other... The, uh, uh, we embrace enjoying each other's warmth. Uh... Is, uh, I accidentally skipped a bit f further into it than I meant to. So I guess here we are now. Oh, come on! Bah! Uh. Fuck. He's discovered us. Time to scram. Yes, he then roars as he makes his way towards me at lightning speed. I'm at the age to be making mistakes. Ursaiwa! <laughs> oh, hey, I'm still hot as fuck, old man. If you kick me, you can kiss having a, grand having a great grandson goodbye. I then start running away from the old man as I make circles around the dojo. Meanwhile, Moe is running along with me, glued to one of my arms. Uh, hold on, let me just make sure. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, also, eyes! Impossible. This is everything I want. I have everything right here with me. And now for the other option. Also, I don't need to fucking worry about taking screenshots every time. Man. I think eight option. I think I chose option A. No, I chose option B. I think so. Time for option A. <laughs> No, apparently, I did choose option A. Or, I'm not entirely sure, so... Yeah, literally nothing changed, so... I did indeed choose option A. Yes, we're going B! To option B. Ah. Uh, it's a BJ now. And a 69. And cowgirl. And then, afterwards, it's 100% the same scene. The fucking option didn't matter. I mean, I guess it's it mattered in a way that it made him go from three rounds twice to... That, that it would have made him go to six rounds once instead of t three rounds twice. Which would have been impressive, in a way. But, it's, it's still not Yamato level, you know, but... Who, who really fucking counts? Uh, anyways, uh, that was... Moe's round. I think I'm doing Tsuki next. Yeah, look forward to that. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you next time. Bye bye. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Don't, don't fucking ask me. I confuse myself sometimes. I'm just that fucking weird. Anyways, bye. Keep going to these games way too fucking quickly. I mean, it's a sign that I enjoy them, but it certainly isn't fucking helping my situation with having games to play. I should not slowly but really blind blind. Bye. So yeah, 
that's that. Uh, it's pointing at the ceiling. Sorry about that. <clears throat> With that, we're ba everything is how it should be. Uh, for those of you who wonder, we're wondering. I was actually just talking in Scott's general, this uh, in the general chat, voice chat for Scott's Discord while watching random videos. So yeah. Either way, just like that. Uh, that was everything you missed from last part. I'll try to get this up uh, uploaded as quickly as humanly possible. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And bye. Actually, th I said I was gonna do Tsuki next, but now I'm sitting here. I'm not sure if I should do Tsuki or Tai, because honestly, God, I feel like Tai is Tai is gonna Tai's route is gonna be hilarious. So I'm very tempted. Anyways, bye.